Today we're going to talk about printers. Now, this is something we've used all of our lives, most of us, for any kind of productivity tool, that sort of thing. But the parts of them get thrown around and they can be a little bit confusing. So let's just break it down. And we all know what you're dealing with. You've got something that can actually make something appear on paper, some marks, right? So let's just use text as an example when we discuss these things. Of course, you can print any kind of an image on paper, potentially, right? So a printer is just that. It's a machine for printing. Now, one thing to realize is that printers, while you often connect them to your computer, so your computer, so your computer can send things to it and print it, printers themselves have computers inside them very commonly. It might be a tiny computer, and it's not going to be a computer that has a display and a keyboard like you're used to using, but there will be a small computer in there very commonly that helps control the whole machine. That's not always true, but very often it is. So just be aware that that of that, that there might be a computer inside there. You won't have to interact with it much, but it can be true. Now here's the parts you are going to have to interact with and some parts to understand. There's really two main ways that printers will make an image appear on paper. One of them is the one that seems pretty intuitive, which is that you have some ink and you've got some sort of a device inside the printer that can move to the right spot on the paper and just push some of that ink onto the paper. And boom, you are making an image on the paper. Now, that is in fact ink because the little device that makes the ink go onto the paper is a tiny little jet. In other words, it pushes out at a pretty high velocity and pretty rapidly moving little teeny bits of the ink. Might be called an inkjet printer. Now, there's a whole second technology or methodology for how to get the marks to appear on paper in a printer. And that uses a material called toner. And these are also called laser printers. And the way it works is this. There's no ink involved. Instead, there's a very dry powder made of tiny, tiny particles that can be put right on the paper. And then immediately following that, a laser can be pointed right at that material, that toner, and it will cause it to essentially liquefy and penetrate into the paper. And it accomplishes the same effect, but without any liquid material. Now there's advantages and disadvantages to each in terms of the accuracy of the images it might make in terms of how expensive the toner versus the ink is, but there's two broad camps. So when you're looking for a printer, if it's just a general purpose printer, you don't care much, go grab a $100, $150 printer from some, you know, discount, you know, outfit, buy it off of Amazon, whatever. But as you get into, you know, higher end needs where you have, you know, very high quality inks that might need to go onto the paper or very high quality papers might need to receive ink or that sort of thing or very high speed printing operations. Now you want to do a bit of a deeper dive, but for the average consumer and even, even frankly, the average technologist, these broad categories are enough. Printers have two broad ways of operating, one with actual ink and one with laser that points at some material called toner. And so you'll see those terms thrown around and now hopefully understand a bit more about what they are.